afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, May the 7th. It's year two, it's week five in Easter, and it's week four in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 65, and Leviticus chapter 16, verse 1 through 19. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. To you our praise is due in Zion, O oh God. To you we pay our vows. Alleluia. Psalm 65. To you our praise is due in Zion, O oh God. To you we pay our vows you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Bless those whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength, you are girded with power, you still the roaring seas, the roaring of their waves and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders, the lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth and give it water, you fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it and soften it with showers, and you bless its growth. <clears throat> you crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows. Alleluia. The lesson is from the book of Leviticus, chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. Now the Lord spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron, when they drew near before Yahweh and died. And Yahweh said to Moses, Tell your brother Aaron not to come just at any time into the sanctuary inside the curtain before the mercy seat that is upon the ark, or he will die, for I appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat. Thus shall Aaron come into the holy place with a young bull for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering. And he shall put on the holy linen tunic and shall have the linen undergarments next to his body. Fasten the linen sash, and wear the linen turban. These are the holy vestments. He shall bathe his body in water, and then put them on. He shall take from the congregation of the people of Israel two male goats for a sin offering, and one ram for a burnt offering. Aaron shall offer the bull as a sin offering for himself, and shall make atonement for himself and for his house. He shall take the two goats and set them before Yahweh at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Aaron shall cast lots on the two goats, one lot for Yahweh and the other lot for Azel. And Aaron shall present the goat on which the lot fell for Yahweh and offer it as a sin offering. But the goat on which the lot fell for Azazel shall be presented alive before Yahweh to make atonement over it that it may be sent away into the wilderness to Azazel. Aaron shall present the bull as a sin offering for himself, and shall make atonement for himself and for his house. And he shall slaughter the bull as a sin offering for himself. He shall take a censer full of coals of fire from the altar before Yahweh, and two handfuls of crushed sweet incense. And he shall bring it inside the curtain, and put the incense on the fire before Yahweh, that the cloud of the incense may cover the mercy seat, that is, upon the covenant, or he will die. He shall take some of the blood of the bull and sprinkle it with his finger 
on the front of the mercy seat and before the mercy seat, and he shall sprinkle the blood with his fingers seven times. He shall slaughter the goat of the sin offering that is for the people, and bring its blood inside the curtain, and do with its blood as he did with the blood of the bull, sprinkling it upon the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. Thus he shall make atonement for the sanctuary, because of the uncleanness of the people of Israel, and because of their transgressions, all their sins, and so he shall do for the tent of the meeting, which remains with them in the midst of their uncleanness. No one shall be in the tent of the meeting from the time he enters to make atonement in the sanctuary, until he comes out and has made atonement for himself and for his house and for all the assembly of Israel. And then he shall go out to the altar that is before Yahweh and make atonement on its behalf, and shall take some of the blood of the bull and of the blood of the goat, and put it on each of the horns of the altar. He shall sprinkle some of the blood on it with his finger seven times, and cleanse it and hallow it from the uncleanness of the people of Israel. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, that we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all the saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty, everlasting God, <clears throat> let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you present in your word and sacrament to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir up in us the flame of that love, which burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the age of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Bless Yahweh my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat>